question for everybody up on the panel, or actually for Nikki. You get to work a lot with Taylor Lautner, this movie as opposed to previous movies. Can you talk about the scenes that you guys got to do together? I just saw the film last night and, and I was disappointed because my favorite, not just one in the film, but in one particular thing, my favorite scene between Taylor and I is actually not in the movie, but we shot this scene where um, I go to serve him food and I sort of bend the bowl into a dog bowl and I write Fido and then he hits me in the head with it and it's like very dramatic and I just thought it was sort of a great representation of who Rosalie is, you know, it's really over the top. Um, and uh, it's really, working with Taylor is really, I mean, it's really a joy. He's, he's very honest, you know, his eyes are very honest and um, I would say he's very good at committing 100% to the decisions he makes throughout the film and um, so, I mean, I had a great, it was, it was nice to actually interact with other actors for the first time, to have a line and then they have a line and then you say something back, that was cool. <laughs> Not just be like sort of <laughs> a puppet in that. Um, Taylor's wonderful and he's great with his shirt on too. <laughs> uh, I also had a question for Nikki. Um, at least in this movie, you're really the only one that gets like cuddle time with Renesmee. So I was just wondering what it, was like to kind of take on that pseudo mommy role and to work with the baby on set. I, I loved it. I loved actually getting to love something and getting to show that this was a moment where Rosalie got to just sort of be totally raw and vulnerable and, and express that kind of love for something else. Um, <clears throat> it was a, a rubber baby a lot of the time. Um, really well made, but um, rubber. And we also worked with a mechanical baby at different points in time. So there would be a man sitting between, like, down at my ankles, pressing a button, and then the hand would move up, and sometimes it would grab my eye and then pull, and then the hair goes down, and I'm like, this was not part of the scene. Um, it was great. I like working with kids. We had some great babies, too. the real ones who were great. They didn't, they didn't cry as much as they could have, I guess. Nikki, uh, in the back, you didn't get the answer to the memorable fan account of questions, so I'd like to ask you that. And for uh, Jackson, what's going on with uh, 100 Monkeys? I guess the fan, one time I had a girl asked me to marry her, which I thought was kind of awesome, but she was not 18 yet. And for some reason, that was my first question, because she looked really young, and she asked if we could get married, and I said, are you 18? And she was like, no, but my mom said it's okay when I am. <laughs> I felt, you know. Uh, well, the 100 Monkeys were going to be going on tour in Europe. Um, November 27th through about December 17th. I'm actually going to be spending my birthday over there. And uh, it's really exciting. You know, it's the first time for us to be international um, outside of the U.S. besides Canada. So. It's a uh, really exciting time for us as a band, and we're, we're working on a couple of new media projects, you know. It's a really interesting time for, for film and for music, uh, especially with, you know, like the internet. I just did a web series called Aim High when we're, we were Facebook's uh, first show, and Annual Cambio's uh, first show uh, with their relaunch. So this, I'm really excited about the possibilities of new media and, and where we can take it where we can go. So the band, uh, we've been working on kind of some ideas to really move in that direction as well. Hey, this, this question's for Peter and Elizabeth. Um, as the, kind of the mom and dad on set, um, how do you feel that Kristen and Rob have handled all the hounding and media scrutiny and fan frenzy? Like, have you seen them change in the way they've handled it? And what do you admire about the two of them? I've, I've been impressed. I mean, um, you know, the, everyone handles it differently, and people have asked me, have you ever given them advice on anything? And I'm like, no, because everyone kind of has to experience it and go through it their own way. And, um, you know, they, they, I, I don't feel like they've changed in, in who they are. They just have more people surrounding them. <laughs> you know, so they have more of an entourage and more security but protecting them. But, uh, but as individuals, I don't feel like they've changed, and that's been nice to see. I would agree. I mean, I think that they had unusual challenges that I don't think I, I could have offered any advice on. Uh, and I, I, I also think it's really exciting, you know, that they, and they, they've gotten to play these roles and, and they carried us along with them and, and it's been an amazing experience.